Hello my friends, today in this video, I will show you how to make powerful high frequency inverter, using this ATX transformer, and using other few scrap components. First you need a good size of aluminium heatsink. Use thermal paste for better heat dissipation. Use these silicon pads for insulation from heatsink. I used D718 transistors, you can use any other NPN transistors as per your availability. Secure the transistors on the heatsink with 3mm bolts. Bend upwards the third pin of both transistors. Now pre-solder all pins of transistors. Take two pieces of TIP41 PNP transistors. Bend the pins of transistors like this. Solder pin 2 and 3 with pin 2 and 1 of first transistor. And the same way solder another transistor. Take a copper wire and solder both transistors pin 3 together. Now take 330 ohms resistors, and solder between pin 3 and pin 1 of both transistors. Now take 1 kilo ohms resistor, and solder between the PNP transistors like this. Pre-solder metal part of PNP transistors, since it is interconnected to pin 2 of same transistors. Take two pieces of wires and solder with both transistors. Now take a old scrap ATX computer power supply, and all we need is this bigger high frequency transformer. Now pre-solder all pins of this transformer to soften the old soldering. And use this the soldering pump to the solder all the pins of transformer. So we remove the transformer from the board. Use these two pins of transformer for input. Connect both transistors wires with these transformer pins. And these two pin will be the output load pins. To test this circuit, I connected the bulb holder. Here is the, the circuit diagram for reference. I used this 100 watt bulb for testing, and set the power supply at 12 volts. And connect the negative with copper pin, and positive with transformer common pin. As you can see, it works perfectly without any fluctuations, and draws about 9 ampere of current. Since the circuit is operated as high frequency multi vibrator method, without any proper driver. So, to make the circuit more reliable and efficient, I designed the simple high frequency driver with TL494IC, which operates on 12 volts DC supply, and gives two output signals. Also with this potentiometer output frequency can be adjusted, and these transistors amplify the output signal to MOSFETs. Then signal goes to gates of MOSFETs, and MOSFET's output is fed to high frequency transformer, with these winding configurations. For easy assembly, I converted driver schematics into the PCB layout. And the PCB is going to be look like this. You can download both circuit diagram and PCB files, link is in video description. 
In order to manufacture this PCB, go to the video description, and with this link sign up on JLCPCB website. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronic engineers to develop projects efficiently. Just upload your Gubber file here. To get instant quote and order in minutes, it is easy as online shopping. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. JLCPCB offers the 6-layer PCB in affordable prices and with attractive cost-effective discounts. A 6-layer PCB has additional 2 layers compared to the standard 4-layer PCB. The stacking technique reduces the electromagnetic interference and improves the performances of the electronics. Not only this, JLCPCB offers free wire in pads to optimize routing efficiency, with cost-effective prices without compromising on quality, and delivers in fast turnaround time. Within some days I got my order from JLCPCB delivered. The quality of the PCBs is amazing, and they offer 5 pieces of 6-layer PCBs for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So, let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Now grab the TL494 IC, and install into the IC base. Solder the input and output pads. Solder the connection wires. Now take two pairs of IRFZ44N MOSFETs, and make the circuit as I am showing in this video.
Now our circuit is almost complete. We just need to feed signal to gates of MOSFETs. Now before we install this driver, we need to connect multimeter to the output of this driver. Connect the 12 volt DC input and set meter on the frequency mode. Using the screwdriver, adjust the potentiometer anti-clockwise and set the frequency of 35 kHz. Fix some double-sided foam tape on the back of the PCB and place it over here. Connect the signal output wires to gate resistors and connect driver input DC wires with installed capacitor. Use a bulb holder and solder on output of this transformer. I will use this 100 watt bulb for testing. Connect the DC supply positive with transformer center wire and connect negative with source of all MOSFETs. As you can see it works perfectly. You can connect more load by using the 12 volt battery as input source. I will connect another 100 watt bulb on output of the transformer. Now connect with battery. As you can see, it works perfectly. Both bulbs are glowing very bright and more load can be connected. Since this is very efficient inverter, but it operates on the high frequency, this will be very useful for the lighting applications only. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.